So if we work through and we write some expressions, okay, um, let's start with the time. Oh, yeah, uh, Addison. Well, Addison, listen, I saw you sleeping in class today and it was unacceptable. Yeah. Show some respect to Sorry. Yeah. Addison. And then the day after, I got an email from the university that I got kicked out and I was going to be suspended of all my money. I paid for the fee. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I edited that all out. Um, it inspired me though. It inspired me to think, how do you stay awake while studying? Now, whether you're at home or you're at in class, here are six quick ways to stay awake. Because the first one is to not use your phone as much. The reason why you're so tired when you use your phone, which kind of makes sense, is your eyes don't blink as much. Now, there's a bunch of like studies on this, but when your eyes don't blink as much, it gets more tired and it drains you for more energy and you need to drink more water as well. So literally, you're gonna be more tired using your phone than if you were to go for a run. And before you think this is going to be a massive yap fest where I'm just gonna tell you a bunch of tips, I'm going to prove and use all these strategies at the end of this timestamp. At this timestamp, I'm gonna show you a daily vlog of me doing all these tips, so I'm just not yapping. And so moving forward, the second tip is to study with the subject you're interested in. Now, it's very ridiculous to me that people start studying with the subject that goes against their interests that goes against all their motivation. When we study, we want to first study with the thing we're most interested and most excited about. That way we can build momentum and we can actually start. You need to first give yourself a reason to study. Your brain's not like wired to just do the hard work, right? You need to start off with something you're interested in. Uh, tip number three is to get some sort of sunlight, which is really achievable by going for a quick 10 to 15 minute walk because this will literally wake you up. Imagine like, like if you think about how bright outside is, how bright the sun is, right? It's going to be like very stimulating. It's gonna wake you up. And in case you're studying at night time and it's like, oh, there's no light, it's pretty dead. I mean, you can still go for a walk. Go try, just try your best to go for a walk or run because just the outside breeze, just the, the moment, just the movement of you walking, it's going to get your brain reset and ready to start studying again. And tip number four, be very like extremely clear on what you want to do. And basically, if it's a subject you don't want to do at all, be very clear on these little, like break it down, right? You got a massive cheeseburger, you want to break it down. You got the buns, you got the cheeseburger, you got the, oh not cheeseburger, you got the cheese, you got the bun. Break it down to very actionable steps because I tend to find myself extremely tired. Like I'm talking about like sleepy tired when I don't know what I want to do, right? I know I have to study maths, but where do I start? I know I have to study science, but where do I start, like, right? Your brain is like gonna take advantage of that. It's like, oh, Addison doesn't know where to start. Let's just go, let's go to sleep. And tip number five is to have good sleep, all right? Everyone knows this, six to eight hours, but I'm gonna give you some quick tips that I found that works for me. And the first one is to learn how to say no. That's gonna help you get more sleep, right? Say you're, I don't know, say you have some sort of commitment that you wanna do at like 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. Learn to say no to these things, all right? Because you wanna treat sleep as if it was a job. I know people tend to say, oh, well, my body's too used to sleeping late. Um, I get too energized. Then just do so much exercise and just, until you're like restless and then go to sleep. It's just, just do some relaxing routine. I don't know whether that's, for me, it's just doing skincare and reading. Like it's kind of like, you know, it's just a putting my mask on and just reading. Like that usually puts me to bed. And last tip, all right, this is literally broken. All right, last tip is to do drugs. And here it goes. All right guys, so this is the start of the thing. I'm gonna, you know, apply all these tips. I'm not gonna like yap too much, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be very quick, uh, daily vlog sort of thing, yeah? So right now, all right, so my fourth tip was to six to eight hours of sleep. You know how it is, right? I'm not playing around today, okay? So the result now is 10.57. Oh, it's kind of flipped, I'll flip it in the edits. And I, I'm not playing around, guys. Really, I'm not playing around. All right, good morning, guys. It's currently 7.10, which is like eight hours of sleep. Pretty good. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna lie. I fell asleep on the, on the way here. So I don't know how I can bust out this like three hour study session after this, not gonna lie. But we'll see how it goes. I still haven't implemented half the tips yet. I'm drinking water. I'm doing my walk now. Okay, guys, of course, I've been drinking my water. But the main thing is, if you have mud right here, <laughs> peach monster, you feel? 
This is the second most I've ever had in my entire life. Food review. Cheers. This is later fest. It's the new flavor, I think. The peach, ultra peach keen. It's alright. I know you like it a lot. It's actually good. I feel the caffeine in my body. All right, guys, I'm going to go home for another study session. I don't feel tired at all. Do we feel tired, bro, studying that much? Yeah, I kind of feel tired. Okay, well, I don't because he obviously hasn't taken my tips yet. But we're going to go home. We're going to have some more water. I think the monster kind of changed my life. Like, this is the second time I've ever had it. And caffeine here is different, guys. Honestly, it's the best drug you could ever take right now in the market. So you know how it is. All right, guys, so currently it's 7.38. All right, yeah. Alright guys, um, I've just spent about, I don't know, what's it, it's 10.30 right now, I should be going to bed, but it is what it is, like, hope you can see it, I didn't sleep, I wasn't tired once in that study session, it was crazy, like, I grinded it out, oh, uh, as you can see, like, down here, this is my, like, bridge I made for engineering, so a lot of, a lot of calculations, my friend went up, fully clutched up for me, man, it's like, and yeah, I mean, these tips work, so I, I was surprised it worked, because usually right now I'd be asleep, like I'd be dead ass, like I'd just be right now, I'd be like, whatever, goodbye. Are you busy all the time? Where you wish a life where it's so much freer, you can achieve your dreams, you can achieve all your hobbies, you can achieve all your goals, but... All you can do is study, study, and study. And all you can say is, help me, help me, help me. But now, stay tuned for the next three days on how to make time for hobbies.